As heavy rains and floods devastate several nations around the world, the last two weeks have been quite challenging. From Storm Daniel wrecking Libya to Typhoon Haikui sinking Hong Kong, the world saw it all. Take a look. Ten countries and territories were hit by severe flooding and this all happened in a matter of 12 days. September started with a typhoon that devastated Hong Kong. Elsewhere in Libya, catastrophic flooding has killed thousands and left many thousand missing. Then there was Storm Daniel, which lashed vast areas of the Mediterranean region. It was the result of a very strong low-pressure phenomenon, which converted it into a much more powerful storm. The storm brought heavy rain and flooding across the region. The storm that formed on September 5th had a devastating impact on Greece. It unleashed an extraordinary amount of rain, surpassing the country's annual rainfall. The streets were transformed into dangerous rivers, submerging entire villages. This necessitated the rescue of families from their flooded homes by emergency workers on inflatable boats, as you can see. At least 15 people lost their lives due to the storm. The Greek Prime Minister described it as one of the most powerful storms to ever hit Europe. The floods occurring in the wake of the devastating wildfires in the country are believed to be influenced by climate change. The Greek Environment Minister pointed out that the warmest summer on record and the exceptionally warm sea contributed to this unique meteorological event. Now let's shift focus to the North African region, looking right here at Libya which has been the worst affected by Storm Daniel. As the storm moved towards the nation, it gained strength from the sea's unusually warm temperature. And as it hit Libya's coastal town of Derna, Storm Daniel poured torrential rain in the region. The heavy rainfall had devastating consequences. It led to the collapse of two dams and released a massive seven-meter wave. The wave surged towards Derna, causing extensive destruction to neighborhoods and sweeping homes into the ocean. According to the World Health Organization, over 3,900 people were killed and about 9,000 are missing due to flooding across the coastal town of Derna. Moving on to Asia, which experienced the impact of two powerful typhoons, Saula and Haikui, which struck the region within a, a short span of time. These storms caused significant damage in Taiwan, Hong Kong and parts of southern China, including Shenzhen. While Typhoon Saula resulted in the closure of schools and businesses in Hong Kong for two days, the real devastation occurred when the city was hit by a sudden storm a week later. Flash flooding submerged metro stations and trapped people on roads. Hong Kong authorities reported that this storm brought the highest hourly rainfall ever recorded since 1884. Now, it's been quite a challenging time in the American continent due to heavy rains and floods. Let's talk about South America next. In Brazil, the state of Rio Grande do Sul faced a devastating natural disaster with over 30 deaths reported. The amount of rainfall the state received in just one week was equivalent to an average rainfall expected for the entire month of September. Now, in the United States, the Burning Man Festival made headlines after a heavy rainstorm hit the area. Attendees were stranded in the Nevada desert and had to conserve their food and water. The rainfall experienced during that time was about twice the average for September. And in Massachusetts, flooding has caused significant damage to homes, businesses and infrastructure, including bridges, dams and railways. The rainfall in Massachusetts and New Hampshire has been way above normal with volumes exceeding 300% of the average in the past two weeks. Scientists warn that these types of extreme weather events affecting countries all over the world may become increasingly common as the climate crisis accelerates. The huge toll of the floods also highlights the urgent need for governments to prepare for this new reality.